is not important. Why are you here? I want to drain your blood. seem a little flustered, Alex. Embarrassed, even. Uh, I'm concerned about Isabel and what Fifi has done to her. I must speak to her, please. I've already stressed how dangerous this may be. Fifi could destroy your mind as easily as crushing a neck shell. I'd do anything to save Isabel regardless of the risk to my own existence. Please, Gordana, I must speak to her. No, it's too dangerous. I intend to do this with or without your help. I guess I have no choice then. I'll protect you as much as possible. Thank you, Gordana. I won't allow her to control or confuse me. You must try to shield your mind from any supernatural attack for the sake of your own sanity.
My dear Alex, I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. So, how are you? I'm not here to make idle conversation. Tell me what you've done to Isabel, otherwise you won't like the repercussions. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you don't relinquish control of her immediately, I'll kill you. Why do you believe I've infiltrated her mind? Isabel isn't herself. She's supernaturally controlled. Your puppet to manipulate. Not my puppet, Alex. Don't lie to me. I'm not. I have no interest in this mortal woman. It's you I seek to control. Why should I believe you after everything you've done? Because it's the truth. I'm sorry for what I did to you. You intrigue me. And perhaps I went too far. But I honestly have no control over Isabel. As much as I'm loathed and surprised to admit this, Phoebe is innocent. She's not deceiving you. If Fifi isn't the culprit, then who the hell is manipulating Isabel? Can I take your order? Finally! I'll have a choco mocha latte with whipped cream and a sprinkling of organic cocoa. And be quick about it. Hi. I'm sorry for interrupting. You're Isabel, aren't you? Do I know you? I'm Alyssa, a friend of Alex. He hasn't mentioned you. Then again, he's weird like that. Yeah, he can be very secretive. Indeed. He sneaks off most nights. Fuck knows what he does, or where he wanders, but I'm sorely tempted to follow him. You've never accompanied him? No. Has he always wandered out late at night, alone? Yes. It seems to be a habit of his. I have no idea why, though. Perhaps he prefers the night air in solitude, like a vampiric creature. After all, he even looks like one. I've often thought that, too. There's definitely something very odd about him. Do you have any evidence? Or is this purely instinct? Instinct mainly. But there are other weird things about him. Like what kind of things? His dreams for one. He doesn't tell me much. But the few he has recounted are seriously fucked up. They seem to involve killing. Most interesting. He was also arrested in Egypt for assaulting an ex-marine. Alex almost murdered the poor guy. Jeez, I had no idea. Anything else I should know about him? His weird behavior in particular? It could take quite a while. How much time do you have? Oh, I'm in no hurry. The more I learn about him, the better. But first, let's order a coffee. I really need a chocomoca latte with whipped cream and a sprinkling of organic cocoa. Doesn't that sound awesome? A most excellent plan. That's my favorite kind of coffee. What a bizarre coincidence. Mine too. How uncannily awesome. I'm glad you stopped by and introduced yourself. You and I are going to be great friends. You're back. I've been so worried about you. You have? Honestly? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Some of the things you said while we were shopping 
were a little harsh. We went shopping. Are you sure? We visited a shoe store and were served by a scarily eccentric assistant. You must remember here. Are you sure you're not imagining things or have been dreaming? You know how much I hate shopping. My head feels like it's about to cataclysmically implode. How long this time before you relinquish control to whichever forces have been manipulating you? What a strange thing to say. I'm sorry. I'm just a little confused. The remnants of a bad dream. Do you want to talk about it? I can't. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Anyhow, let's have a cup of coffee and watch a movie. What kind of coffee? Your usual, of course. Black. Thank fuck you're back. You don't know how much I've missed you. Hellfire Merde and Damnation. The link with Isabel has been severed, and I cannot find the path back into her mind. Perhaps the abominations at the Sanctuary have set up a mental firewall, protecting Isabel's fragile human mind. They don't possess the strength to do this. Fufu is a master puppeteer. Indeed. Yet I cannot even gain a shadowy glimpse into Isabel's mind. Someone or something extremely powerful has intervened. But who and what are we going to do now? We clearly can't use Isabel as a weapon anymore. On the contrary, my young brethren, we may not be capable of manipulating her mind, but there is another path we can follow. The final phase of Operation Isabel. Awesome plan, Fufu. I can't wait for the fun to begin. Once Isabel is alone without the abomination there to protect her, her existence shall be eradicated. The Abomination will regret ever crossing paths with us, especially when his beloved Isabel becomes a casualty of war.